Zimbabwe's main opposition leader, Nelson Chamisa, has ditched what he says is a poisoned and hijacked Citizens Coalition for Change party. Chamisa accusing the ruling ZANU-PF of taking over the Triple C using state institutions. A few months ago, you'll recall that the Triple C suffered a major setback after 22 of its members of parliament were recalled by the party's alleged self-imposed secretary general who said that they were no longer members of the party. So, what does the future hold for Chamisa after ditching yet another party he started? Joining us now on the line is Mr. Chamisa himself. Mr. Chamisa, thank you very much for your time. Quite a long statement uh, bearing your name came out last night. Can you explain to us in a sentence or two why you decided to walk away from yet another party you started? Well, uh, what you do is that when you realize that um, your um, kettle pan has been embedded by kettle rustlers, you just need to walk away with your kettle uh, hmm. to secure them. I'm not walking away from the citizens of Zimbabwe. I'm walking away from a poisoned chalice. There are many other wells, there are many other sources of water, there are many other vehicles and platforms that could be and should be used. So we are taking a new way, a fresh approach, a new start. In fact, the future has just begun. Okay, we're going to talk about that future in a moment. The reasons, just briefly, what is it that made you take this extraordinary step? Indeed, indeed, it's, all, it's, a, it's a very drastic measure. Uh, against uh, our own uh, will and uh, against our own um, uh, intention. But because we have seen that Mr. Manangagwa and ZANU-PF are now abusing uh, institutions of the state, in particular parliament, mm. uh, the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission, and in some circumstances, even our own courts, because they, they are now contaminating our courts with their politics, that has necessitated what we are doing. We don't want to be forced uh, in, into a... Um, a, a dance, a dancing to the tune of uh, uh, a dictatorship, dancing to the tune of Mr. Mnangagwa, you know, recalling our members of parliament, after recalling those members of parliament, stopping them and barring them from then participating, because he knows that in the arena of elections, he has no support. Just as he was rejected on the 23rd of August uh, 2023 election, they want to continue to uh, ward off that rejection by avoiding the votes and the voters. Yeah. Uh, so because of that, we have to make sure that we make a bold stand, a bold move. As you know, leaders must take a stand. And we've taken that stand to say, how do we break that new ground? How do we then make sure that although the past is broken, how do we make sure that we bring in a future that is beautifully woven? And to do so, we are going to have new tactics, new approaches, because we have realized the leopard cannot change and is not changing its spots. We've got quite a bit to get through, Mr. Chamisa. Can I ask you to keep it short, given the time constraints? You are attributing what is happening in the Triple C to President Mnangagwa, but there is an individual here. His name is Sengezo Chabangu. Who is he I don't... and what is his role within the triple C. That's why I said I think Mr. Mnangagwa is the best person to answer that question because that is his person. But this person is said to be the Secretary General of your party, the triple C. Who is saying that it is Mr. Mnangagwa and his party? How did Mr. Chabangu get into the triple C in the first place? Because he is the one that, as I read the reports, recalled these MPs saying that they are no longer members of the Triple C. Just to help you in the audience um, here, uh, Chloe, for you to be recalled, there has to be the consent and assent of the Speaker of Parliament, of the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission, and of course, in cases where there's a dispute, mm -hmm. uh, endorsement by the courts. Now, because these institutions are, in, to a greater extent, uh, um, connected to Mr. Mnangagwa, they are the ones that have accepted Mr. Chabang. So it's not a triple C matter. It's not a triple C issue or a citizens of Zimbabwe issue. 
it's a Mr. Mnangagwa and Zanu PF issue. It is their cake, they must eat it. It is their bed, they must lie on it. Let's then talk about this future that you've alluded to. But I think for us to talk about that, we can't not revisit history. The MDC Alliance, that was a party that you walked away from, and now it is the Triple C. The people of Zimbabwe, do you think that they still have faith in you? Perhaps my crystal clear question to you is this. Some people or political observers are going to say you are suffering a credibility crisis right now and therefore you are unlikely to amass the kind of support that you have seen in the recent past. You must not confuse Nelson for Emerson. Mr. Manangagwa is the one who has a credibility crisis, not Nelson Chamisa. He is the one who is the author of all these things. The hijacking of the MDCT, the hijacking of the MDC alliance, the hijacking of the triple C. And you know what the beauty is? The people of Zimbabwe are very clear. That's why they continue to support us. Mm. The base is not moved. The base is actually energized and emboldened. The people of Zimbabwe are clear that ours is a, law, a noble and legitimate fight against dictatorship and oppression. And ours is a fight that is going to be won. That's why I told you that the direction we are taking is a direction that is going to give Zimbabweans a fresh smile. They support, there's no credibility crisis. If anything, they know that the more I'm being fought by forces of darkness, the more I'm being confirmed as a force of light. The more they fight me, the more they validate. It's very clear, and I'm not going to be shaken. I know that I carry the will of the people of Zimbabwe. I have their trust and confidence. That's why they, they, they support us. And right. that's why the dictatorship is fighting, using all manner of tactics, weapons, everything, machinery, all against an individual. That tells you a story, isn't it? Mr. Chamisa, let's conclude the conversation. Are you starting yet another political entity? If so, when? Well, I must say that now, because I've told you that once beaten, twice shy, we are a lot wiser. I've seen that the leopard cannot and is not changing its spots. I've seen that the crocodile has not changed and has not shed its scales. So for that reason, we are going to have different approaches. So forming parties may not necessarily be the approach, but I can tell you that the citizens' movement is going to be emboldened, is going to be strengthened and deepened organically to make sure that the citizens of Zimbabwe have a fighting chance. So yes, not an organization per se or an institution. What we need is a broad omnibus, a, a, almost like a, a, a movement, a citizens' movement that is all-encompassing, but that focuses on making sure that we fix the broken politics and we fix the stolen elections and we fix the issue of governance. Have a new government in Zimbabwe, have a legitimate government in Zimbabwe, return Zimbabwe to majority rule, majority happiness, and majority prosperity, and legitimate right. a government. Advocate Nelson Chamisa, let me thank you very much for your time.